not illegal should be able to be said. Yes, I would agree with that. All right, you want to go up the chain of controversy? Yeah, let's go. All right, immigration too high? Uh, absolutely not. We need a million people to replace all the people leaving because of the baby boomers from the workforce. Over the next five years, a million people leave every year for the next five years. We're way too short. Our GDP is going to shrink and collapse. You asked the wrong person with that. Not necessarily. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need more immigration if Canada is going to survive, period. And we need to get that happening right away. As to how we're doing it, you might be doing it wrong. I agree with that. Uh, but I think there's a whole bunch of really cool mechanisms that Canada has developed and they're underutilizing them. So we work for the government of Canada, Sean? No, but I should. <laughs> uh, next question, how do we lower housing prices then? Is it just as simple as building more houses? Do we just build infinity houses? They can't seem to do it right now. What's the solution to higher cost of living? So your assumption is that all houses should be lower cost? No, my assumption is that housing prices have exploded in the last two years, as has immigration. So you're connecting those two dots, and I'm not sure that they're necessarily connectable. Okay. Because the media has connected them, but the fact so, is, housing prices were raising already, and we're blaming immigrants for that problem, which is not why blaming immigrants. We're blaming the government. We're blaming the government. Yeah, yeah. Well, the government's blamed for everything, right? We can blame that they're an easy uh, pa uh, patsy for that. Okay. But the fact is, is that immigration doesn't isn't a direct directly proportional to housing crisis. Uh, okay. Number one is that immigration tends to be a problem in places where for example, we have a lot of students moving in, so a lot of the student-oriented places like Toronto and Waterloo, etc., have housing crisis. You don't see that in Sault Ste. Marie. Oh, the housing You're... prices are insane in Sault Ste. Marie. Yes, they are. Well, it's not oh, as yes, bad as downtown Toronto. Oh, nowhere is as bad as downtown Toronto, but you can yeah. say that about a lot of places. That's the housing true. prices all across Ontario are insane. Yeah, we should stop building streets and start building elevators, like the rest of the world has done. Interesting. Japan puts a lot more people in the same in a lot less space and they don't have as much space to use. We just are so used to having so much space that we tend to want everybody to have a giant so lawn. So people shouldn't have large lawns? What's with that? You can't have a lawn? No, a lawn is a serious Hey, Lynn, how do you feel about that? Lawns or no lawn? What do you prefer? I like my lawn, I guess. She likes her lawn. Sean wants to take your lawn away from you. How big a lawn do you actually need? I don't need a big lawn, no. I don't need anything. How many butterflies and bees are you willing to kill so that you can it's like It's her do right. Like she wants to wants have a big lawn. lawn. Why can't she have a big lawn? Because we need the space to put up some elevators. So we, we need the space like so we can cram more people in. That's what you're arguing right it's now. It's just that the idea that having these giant lawns, which is what everybody wants, they want their giant lawn, and then they spend the rest of their weekends doing something meaningless, which is mowing their goddamn lawn. Maybe it's they like mowing out. their lawn. You asked for controversy. I'm giving you controversy. I, it's fine. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> right on. Okay. Sean, what's your Lawns, most controversial yeah. opinion? My most controversial opinion? Yeah, that somebody's going to see this video and be like, wow, Sean's insane. Uh, most controversial opinion is that everyone should have green hair. That is, I guess so. That's, I a, that's, a, that's a, it's a cheap way out, Sean, but I'll allow it. Statistically, you're just much happier and more successful <laughs> if you have green hair. Name I'm another most that. famous person with green hair. Uh, Joker? Oh. Story checks out. All right. Sean, I appreciate the arguing. Thank you, Caitlin.